You ever watched your favorite streamer jump across the road like a kangaroo on steroids and you're sitting there, what the hell is he doing? And how does he jump like that? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how to bunny hop or b hop and how to bunny hop more reliably. By the end of this guide, you should be able to do it pretty much every single time without fail. And at the same time, we're gonna be learning some really sweet spots across customs. So stick around and hopefully this guide teaches you something. The first thing that you're gonna need is obviously a pistol. You can see here I've got a TT, but it doesn't matter what pistol you use, your character naturally runs faster when you have a pistol and it allows you to move around quicker. At the same time, if you don't have a pistol, you can do all of these jumps shown here today with a melee weapon. Obviously it doesn't have to be the Red Rebel either. My current skills in the game are level one strength. At the same time, obviously the higher your endurance, the longer you can bunny hop for. If you're doing consecutive jump after jump, Obviously strength reduces the amount of stamina drain per jump when you start to get the higher level. But all the jumps here today can be done by someone with a fresh account. So we're going to learn how to B hop. And the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to make sure your fingers are on the W key, the shift key, the space bar, and also the free look key. Now for me, this is bound to middle mouse. So you're going to press the scroll wheel down and it allows you to free look. And it's all based around the order in which you press them. Now you don't have to use free look, but what free look does, it actually gives you a larger window to allow your B hops to happen more easily. So all you're going to do is come into an offline raid. I would recommend bringing one of these blue stims because they give you a larger amount of stamina and also better stamina recovery. And you also can use some of these hot rods, which give you, you know, an extra endurance and strength for about 300 seconds. So it's really good for getting your practice in. Do so you wanna go ahead, drink your hot rod and take your blue stim and let's learn how to B hop. The first thing is, it's all about the order in which you press W, shift, and then space bar. Now the free look, actually what it does is opens up the window to allow the timing of the space bar to be, you know, a little bit more lenient. So an example is I can actually do a B hop without actually needing to use free look. And it's all just about the timing in which you press the three. So I start off with W and as W is getting held, I'm gonna listen for about two steps and then I'm gonna press shift and then space bar. So ready? So what do you do if you want to hit them more regularly one after the other? Well, the truth is it's quite actually easy as well. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to keep W held down, keep shift held down, free look, and then press space bar, space bar. The space bar is the timing in which you need to hit these B hops has to be perfect every time, but your fingers never leave the W and shift key. So what you want to be doing is as soon as you hit the ground, you're going to be listening for two steps. And as soon as that happens is when the next space bar gets pressed. I'll do it again. So to B hop is to cover a distance in a shorter amount of time at the cost of more stamina. So B hops actually make you a harder target to hit. So an example would be if I was actually crossing this street along here and I knew there was people down here and I didn't want to get shot, but I wanted to reposition, then obviously I would B hop across the way to make it harder for them to shoot me. Another great way to use bunny hopping is to leap past doors strategically to try and get information of where the enemy may be peeking from. This is a really good trick to get them to bait shots and also find their location. As we look at the difference between bunny hopping and running, you're gonna notice that I'm actually gaining a little bit of distance here on the running, but this is without the blue stim. So obviously with low strength and low endurance, running is always gonna be more viable. However, when we take the blue stim, some of these things change. So as we take the blue stim, we're actually going to gain a larger amount of stamina and also stamina recovery. And you're going to see that the jumping becomes a little bit more viable when we're b-hopping here. So you can see why it's so good to practice with. But at the same time, we actually run out of stamina just before the car once again. So let's get into the parkour. We're going to be starting out here at Trailer Park. And you're going to notice that by this orange fuel tanker here, and we're going to access the roof by jumping on this bin. Now there are a few ways to access the roof of storage which give you a few good PvP angles, but you can actually jump on this blue car here and also access the roof. Once again, there are a few different areas like including this other blue bin that you can access the roof from, but be wary because it is metal. So when you're up here a lot of the time you're going to be making a lot of noise and you're not going to actually have a lot of cover either. 
So if you get caught out here, you're probably going to get killed. And once again, inside Big Red, there's another way that you can access and look over the top of storage and also to get, get some really good lines of sight out towards the bin jump over. So if you climb up here, you can actually get some really good lines of sight to the left along the tops and also to the right. To get down, you just walk down the same way you walked up. Over at bin jump over, we're going to jump over the bin and then onto the wall here. And then we're going to run along the top of the wall towards the blue detachable. Once you jump over the open gate, we're actually going to line ourselves up with the edge of the roof and then jump onto the roof. You can actually go prone here and get some really nice angles out throughout the train yard. But on top of these crates here are pretty exposed as well. So we're going to jump over the wall and we're just going to show you guys that you can actually access different sides of the wall without having to go through the hole in the wall. So if you are jumping over these walls, you can throw people off, especially in PvP. A lot of people don't expect it. Once again, you can jump on top of the train in train yard and you can actually get some really sweet angles out towards the Welcome to Tarkov truck and also all the way on the far right and left towards main bridge, depending on where you peek from. So we're going to get down from the train and we're going to head towards one of the more notable areas of customs and this is going to be gap or slit. Now slit allows you to get to the other side of the wall but unfortunately you have to walk over metal barrels to get there. So there are a few ways that you can get around doing this. Especially in PvP if you want to throw off your enemy, if you run up this concrete wall here and just boost along the rubble, you can actually get over to the other side of the wall. Now once you're over here you can obviously pull an angle on your enemy during a fight and confuse them but at the same time if you want to get back across there's a pile of barrels here and if you line up with the metal rod that sticks out or the end barrel here line yourself up and try and aim for the wall if you get a good boost jump you can actually land on the wall and get across to the other side if you want to access back over to the other side again you can jump on top of this concrete here go to the very end and then boost across the wall once again. Now we're here at main bridge and we're actually going to get up on top of one of these guard shacks. To do this you're going to need level 3 strength especially if you're wearing gear. And we're going to jump sideways so you're going to line yourself up with the very edge of the roof here and then jump sideways. You can get some really sweet cover and also angles all across the middle area on construction but on the other side of main bridge once again on this concrete divider wall you can actually get up on top here and once you're on top you can actually get some really nice lines of sight into construction especially on top of the main pylons once you're inside construction you can actually boost through the hole in the wall if you crouch midair and aim for the right hand side you can get inside here and pull an angle on someone and surprise them this is going to be ninja jump over which is also in construction you can jump off the left hand side here but you can also jump off the right and if you jump off the right hand side you don't actually hit barbed wire so you don't hurt yourself or make as much noise if we head back to the ninja jump over however and head to the right, jumping off this piece of concrete to the very edge of the blue crate and then bunny hopping to the edge of A-frame here, we can actually get on top of the fuel tankers. Now once you're on top of the fuel tankers you can get some really sweet lines of sight all the way out to hill 1, all the way through gas station, there's some really really nice spots as well. We're going to jump across to the next one, careful though when you're up here you make a lot of noise, obviously it's metal and you're also quite exposed, but if you use these in the right way, go prone up there, you can actually get some good shots. We're at factory shacks and then we're going to unlock this with the portable cabin key of the customs factory zone. Once you're inside here you're going to open it up, there's a weapon crate and obviously your task item when you need this key. But if you jump on the railing and head towards the door, you can actually jump on top of the door and then access the roof. Once on the roof, you can go prone and get some really nice lines of sight out towards the top train bridge and also three-story dorms. So we're here at three-story dorms and obviously it's notable because it's the three-story and there's a two-story on our right. But we're going to head to the third floor here. And one, one you guys to understand is a lot of the time when you're in three-story dorms, sometimes you get pinned down the end here near Mark Room. Now, not only can you access Mark Room while you're down here, but unfortunately you can't leave because this door here is actually unopenable. So when you're stuck on the roof, there's a few ways down. Now, the first way that a lot of people know is to drop down on this fence featured down below me here and then wait for the damage and then walk off. This is the easiest way down. However, when you're up here, there's a few PvP angles that you can pull on people that surprise them. One of them is lining up and jumping for that lower roof right there. Now be wary when you do this, especially when you weigh a lot. This jump is quite difficult and you really need to get your timing perfect, otherwise you'll end up at the bottom almost dead. Another way is aiming for the railing here. So if you line yourself up with the end of the rubble and then jump shortly after, you can actually land at the edge of the railing here without breaking or hurting your legs. 
but if you miss however it's going to screw you up we're here at gas station there's a few ways you can get around gas station one way is jumping over this barrel and then you can access the back of gas station but once again this rubble is probably a more known parkour but near the fence here you can actually just jump up on this piece of rubble and then boost jump over the wall to the other side once you're across you can actually jump on the tire of this truck jump onto the green tray and then onto the spool. And when you make your way to the left one, aiming for the wall, you can actually be hop back across. There's also another way to jump on the rubble to get across as well, which is the left hand side, which is a little easier. If you want to get across once again, there's this forklift here, but recommended three strength because this jump is quite hard. Aiming sideways to get up easier and then you're going to boost across just the same way you've done everything else. This next jump should be possible at any weight, but if you are overweight, sometimes it helps to have about level three or more strength. We can jump along the roof of the car here and then aim for the lip of the toilet. Now, if you aim your character correctly, you'll hit this regardless of your strength. So you need to make sure you aim in the correct spot. Once again, we're here at gas station. Now this jump is a little bit more advanced and I would recommend a higher level of strength or one of these combat stims, the SJ-1, which give you 25 endurance and also 25 strength. Now you can use these to get into some of the spots, but currently you require 10 strength to do this spot. However, this is one of the best parkour spots I could ever show you in customs because it allows you to get some really, really good angles all the way out to the jump over on the fence or the open carriage train. And also if you have a good scope, you can see all of the extended customs up at the top of the hill near the power station especially good with thermals. One of the next spots is here is at Chemical. You can notice it's one of these large containers. We're going to head towards this forklift near the blue container here. And then once again, jumping on top of it. If you can't get it, try jumping sideways like I recommended. But once we jump on top, we're going to head towards the top of this blue crate and you can get some really nice lines of sight out above Hill 3. But you can also look out towards Gas Station. You jump to across to these barrels here and then across to this fuel tanker. You can actually look all the way up to the jump over and also into fuel pit. Now behind chemical container is one of the main extracts and it's ZB12. ZB12 can be noticeable when it's open when the light is on. If you want to do the parkour for this spot, this one is quite hard. Although I've been able to do it at zero strength when I weigh nothing, it, the timing on this one needs to be perfect. You need to aim for the lowest part of the wall here. You're going to need to make sure that the moment you jump is at the very end of this corner. So your timing has to be perfect, especially when you weigh a fair bit. You can also jump across this way as well. Hey guys, that's it for this video. If this video helped you in any single way, learn how to bunny hop or bunny hop more reliably. Or if you just learnt any parkour along the way, you know what to do. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, it helps me out a ton. And as always, I stream five days a week on Twitch. The link for that will be in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching.